good morning to you. So just walking through Town Park, which is, uh, it's like a central park, but for Runcorn. <laughs> um, it's, it's, again, one of the only saving graces of Runcorn, really. You, you've got this, this whole area, this whole section of uh, Holton, it's all surrounded by uh, houses on this part now and it keeps getting smaller and smaller. But that's just Holton Council for you. So I just I just thought I'd do this video. And by the way, <laughs> I'm not always wearing the same clothes uh, <laughs> in all my videos. It's just, it's my jacket, leave me alone. <laughs> I saw an article this morning on, uh, I don't know what, what paper it was. I don't know if it's the Weekly News or the Week or Uncom World or whatever it was. Um, another housing development. You know, set to get the green light. Ooh, exciting! There was a comment under there because obviously it touched on the Mike story. In you know, the enough is enough. And there was a comment in the comment section that really stood out. He said, "What what's Mike's problem? Is it because he doesn't want it in in a leafy suburb, or just doesn't want to build houses?" And like, okay, then with that logic, let's knock down every historical landmark in in the UK. Let's chop down all the trees and just put a house on it because guess what? We need houses. The idea that you could build on something like this and then get away with it just because it's a working class town, you know, it's 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 wrong. And as we said in the previous video, there's only so so much land we've got left. Holton Council are squeezing houses on every single plot of land. But there's still plenty of areas that are empty, like ex-industrial areas. Even in um, Fiddler's Ferry, they're on about um, houses now, which would be a good, good addition to housing stock. But people keep forgetting that in this area where they want to build, they it's mainly rich houses. There's no affordable houses, so how's that going to help the housing crisis and the shortage? Yeah, it's getting to a point where we're going to end up with nothing left. And these people are very short-sighted. They don't think past a certain point. They just go, yeah, we need houses. Let's put them up. And then when we've got no space left, they're going to go, oh, where are our children going to play? Idiots. But the one thing I realised with that is that if we're going to succeed in stopping this housing development where we are, we've got to show a united front. I'm thinking, right, I don't know how many people are on this group that we're on, but what I'm thinking is that we need to get together. In the acting world, there's the show don't tell mantra. You know, it's, it's, it's all well and good to say you hate this. But you've got to show that you hate it. I mean, I'm doing these videos now. I'm going to continue to do as many as I can. But I think we physically need to show how many people are opposed to it and cause a massive uproar on, on social media. Because if we don't, it's just a fart in the hurricane, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm thinking, right, how would you like to meet up everyone on this group? I mean, look, judging by the video uh, viewership on my last two, there's enough um, interest in this to, to get people interested, you know, on the wider group who, do, who are not on social media, who are just in the papers or whatever. Let's get as many of us together, even if it's, because I got 400 views on my first um, video. Even if just 50 people, well, between 10 and 50 people turn up, get get paper involved, get them all in the group, get a pitch, a pitch opportunity we're down, down where the development is. I can bring my camera equipment. We can all have a chat, talk about it. I'm doing a live stream next Friday. Uh, I'd like to invite the, the person who organised the group on to talk more about her aims with, with, with this uh, group. But we also need to show that we're not, it's not just one or two people, it's quite a few people. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments or private message me. My, my email address at stephenjholleran at gmail.com. Link's just here. And uh, if you want to be on the show, if you want to meet up in, in a group uh, down at the location, and we can we can get the newspapers involved, help me. Enough is enough. Let's do this. See you in a bit.